What is up all you worship peoples? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to play on an acoustic guitar, a brand new release by Phil Wickham called I Believe. Let's get into it. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, why don't you give them a like and maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out natemice.com for some additional resources and some pretty sick Crazy Club merch. All right, so there are three things we'll be going over in this video to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. Uh, the first thing is key and capo. So the key that the song was originally recorded in, uh, the key that all be playing it in and how to use your trusty capo to play in some other keys that might be good for your voice. Um, the second thing we'll be looking at is a uh, strumming pattern. So how I'm kind of approaching this song with my strumming, I'll break that down for you. Um, and the third and final thing are the chords. Um, as I play through each section of this song uh, individually, I'll have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner so that you can pause the video and see exactly what my finger placement is for every chord that I'm using. Don't forget that this video is segmented, which means that you can skip ahead to any part of this song that you would like to learn right now. All right, so this song was originally recorded in the key of D. Uh, for those of you on an acoustic guitar, you could either play in the open D position. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a difficult, you know, open position to play in uh, for like the you know beginner guitar player. Uh, so a much easier way to approach the D uh, key of D is to have your capo on fret number two, one two, and playing in the C position. If you don't know what the C position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below to check that out. And finally, another way that you could play in the key of D um, is by having your capo on fret number seven, so three, four, five, six, seven, and then playing in what's called the G position. Uh, and if you don't know what the G position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that as well, so click up above or down below to check that out. Um, but that's if you want to play in the original key, uh, which I will not be. <laughs> I'll be playing in the key of C. I kind of uh, sung along with the, the lyrics and stuff, and you know I ended up in the key of C for my voice, which is a, a whole step down from the original key. So I'm going to be uh, playing in the G position, actually, uh, with my capo on a fret number five. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I will be right there in the key of C using the G position. Now, uh, usually, uh, you know, you could play in the key of C um, in the open C position, and that would sound really nice because, you know, it would make your guitar sound really full and really big. Um, the reason I am playing with a capo uh, is to give you guys some options if you need to kind of keep going down with your key. Uh, so, uh, with your fret on fret number five, uh, where I'll be, that's that's the key of C, but you could you know go down to fret number four and now you'll be in the key of B. Um, or down to fret number three and now that's the key of B flat or A sharp. Fret number two is gonna put you in the key of A and fret number one is gonna put you in A flat or G sharp. And the cool thing is uh, you could play in any of those keys and also the open G position. Um, using the same exact chord shapes that I'm going to show you in this video. So all you got to do is just put your capo where you need it to be for your voice and follow along with the same chord shapes that I'm going to give you here now in this video um, and you'll be good to go. And just a quick heads up, I will not be calling out the chords for the actual key that we're in, which is the key of C. I'll be calling out the chords for the key of G. Again, just another way uh, to make it easy for you guys to transfer uh, to another key to, to kind of shift your capo around uh, and to make it easy for you guys to follow along. All right, let's talk about strumming patterns. Um, there's not really like a definable strumming pattern that I'm using in this song, which usually I, I have one. Uh, but for this song, it's really just calls for all downstrokes. So downstrokes is just when you just strum down. Um, you know, there's not really kind of like an intricate strumming pattern. For instance, kind of like in the intro, the turnarounds, the instrumentals, this is kind of what I'll be doing. So one, two, three, four. So 
So you can see I'm kind of accenting the one and three of the tempo. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if that makes sense. So that's what I'll be doing for the turnarounds, the instrumental, the intro. And then for the chorus, it's gonna sound like this. So one, two, three, four. So if I were to play that without chords, one, two, three, four. So hopefully it kind of makes sense. That kind of explains how I'll be treating this song uh, strumming wise. All right, let's learn these chords. Uh, this is the intro of the song. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> Verse one, um, I am using all downstrokes, like I, I explained already in the uh, the strumming section. Uh, I'm kind of doing like a muted thing, a palm muted thing, which basically means you're, you're kind of taking this part of your palm and you're laying it gently over the saddle area of your guitar to kind of give it like a chunky vibe. So like that. You can't press too hard though because that'll mute the strings too much just kind of lightly rested on that saddle, that white bar, uh, you know, at the, at the base of your guitar there. So uh, let's play through this first verse, verse number one. So one, two, one, two, three. I believe there is one salvation, one doorway that leads to life, one redemption, one confession. I believe in the name of Jesus. verse 2. All right, verse 2. This is going to take us into the first chorus. So one, two, one, two, three, four. I believe in the crucifixion. By his blood I have been set free. I believe in the resurrection. Hallelujah, his life is death. to the first chorus. All right, this is chorus 1A. Let's play through it. So one, two, one, two, three. All praise to God the Father. All praise to Christ the Son. All praise to the Holy Spirit. Our God has overcome the King who was in To the turnaround. All right, then they go into the turnaround, which is basically just the same exact thing as the intro. So just refer back to the intro uh, so you can see what to play for these, this turnaround after the first chorus. All right, then into verse three. This one's pretty straightforward, but then we're getting into verse four. That one's a little crazier. So let's do verse three first, though. It's very similar to the first two verses. Uh, there's some light uh, chord changes for the last line. So uh, this is verse three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I believe in the hope of heaven. He's preparing a place for me. Far beyond what hearts imagine. Ears have heard or eyes have seen. And then that's the first chord to uh, verse four. All right, verse four. So one, two, one, two, three. I believe that day is coming. He's returning to claim his bride. Light the altar, keep it burning. See the lamb who rose a roaring lion. And that's the first chord. 
forward to the next chorus. All right, this is the second chorus 1A. <laughs> it has a little bit more energy to it, and it, it actually ends on a different chord than the first chorus 1A, and that is to lead you kind of into the uh, instrumental slash bridge section. So uh, this is the second chorus 1A. Let's go over it. So one, two, one, two, three. All praise to God the Father. All praise to Christ the Son. All praise to the Holy Spirit. Our God has overcome. The King who was and is and evermore will be. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe. That's the first chord to the next section, which is the instrumental. All right, then into the instrumental, this is gonna lead us into the bridge section. So here we go. So one, two, one, two, three, four. No, I'll never be ashamed. And that's the beginning of the bridge. All right, then into the bridge. Let's do it. So one, two, no, I'll never be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. How could I ever walk away from the one who saved my life? No, I'll never be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. How could I ever walk away from the one who saved my life? To the next chorus section. All right, this is chorus 1B. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, three. All praise to God the Father. All praise to Christ the Son. All praise to the Holy Spirit. Our God has overcome. The And that's the first chord of chorus two, the next section. All right, into chorus two. We are nearing the end here. After this, we go into the outro of the song. So here we go, chorus two. So one, two, one, two, three. All praise to God our Father. All praise to Christ the Son. All praise to the Holy Spirit. Our God. To the outro of the song. All right, and then the outro of the song, which is very similar to the intro of the song and the, the turnarounds. Um, I guess the only minor difference is the very last chord. It kind of resolves on the on the G chord, uh, kind of. <laughs> so well, let's, let's just play through it. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Notice I didn't really, really strum the last kind of G chord. I just kind of put my finger there because that's kind of the vibe of the recording. Like it's, it ends on that, the D, and there's this kind of underlying root note chord that's just like 
underneath <laughs> at the very end. So yeah, you'll have to kind of figure out how you want to end the song there. All right guys, that is I Believe by Phil Wickham. I hope that this video helps you to pull this song off. If you're doing this song, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Speaking of comments, if there are any other songs or things about worship that you'd like me to talk about, please leave your suggestions down below. I read every single comment. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on what might help you the most in you know wherever you're at in the worship leading realm. Uh, so I hope that it's going well for you guys. Keep it crazy uh, wherever you are, wherever you're doing ministry. Don't forget to keep it super crazy, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.